Ah, oh, you won, sis. I'll pay you back. Honestly, Maureen, every last dime or we could consider it an early birthday present. Birthday and Christmas for the next couple of years. Sure, we could do that. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know what else to say. Good, then shut up. Maureen, Mr. Reynolds said that he knew you were involved. Okay, he said that he'd give me a break this time. So it's all over, okay? Let's just forget about it, all right? I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. I'm sorry. Jeez. You're giving me attitude? You? Well, how often do I have to apologize? I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. Can we drop it already? Tina, I could have gotten fired. But you weren't. <laughs> and that makes everything okay. Well, doesn't it? No! If you needed those clothes so badly, why didn't you just ask me? Employees get a big discount. You could have asked mom or dad, but shoplifting? Because I didn't need them so badly. Then why? Because I wanted them so badly, that's why. I am not hearing any of this. Oh, now don't start sounding so high and mighty. You know, maybe, just maybe, I could understand you stealing if we were poor, if we were starving. Maybe I could understand if you were a little kid and didn't know any better. But you don't need to steal. Would you lay off? Okay, I was just having a little fun. Nobody got hurt. What's the big deal? I work there. Sorry. Yeah, I know it was stupid. <laughs> you know what, and, and let's forget for a minute how you could have got me fired. Let's concentrate on you. Stealing is against the law, you twit. Mr. Reynolds would have had any right to call the police. You don't think I know that? Okay, I didn't know if I was gonna get arrested or what. Don't look at me like I'm an idiot, Maureen. I'm scared out of my skin. Well, sorry if I don't feel too much pity. Actually, to be honest, I'm sort of glad to see you so upset. What a pal.